Hi, my name is Josh. I am the co-owner of Genesis Exotics, and today we are going to go over on how we successfully make a Drosophila hydei and a Drosophila melanogaster fruit fly culture, featuring our universal media. Our media is one of the few medias that works for all types of fruit flies. Uh, for starters, we like to use a 32 ounce deli cup. It is completely transparent, Microsoft safe, so it's okay to use with the heat that we're going to be using with the hot water. So for starters, what we use, we take our media and we use a third of a cup of the universal media. I usually just take the bag, use a third of a cup measurement, dump it right in. You can see that the media is a rather powdery consistency. I like to make sure it is nice and level at the bottom of the cup. From there, I dump a third of a cup of hot water into the bottom. As you can see, it almost mixes on itself, but I usually follow up with a stirring straw, and I stir it for about a couple seconds, and I let it sit. Within about a minute, it will retain its solid consistency to the point of when it is ready to be taken to the next step. While this is happening, I like to get the Excelsior ready. The Excelsior acts as a surface area medium for the flies to breed in larger numbers. What's nice about the Excelsior is that it is a renewable resource made from 100% Aspen, and it is safe for your frogs if it would inevitably end up in the tank while you are feeding. So, I'll go ahead and I'll remove this from the bag. And I like to take a small baseball sized clump, the Excelsior. One problem with it, it can be a little messy, unfortunately. I usually put it into a small clump right like this, and I'll go ahead and I will stick it right into the culture. From there, you, uh, you, you can see how the culture looks. There's a moderate amount of Excelsior in there. The biggest thing with the Excelsior is you do not want to overstuff it. The, the, the more Excelsior you put in there, the lack of surface area and space they'll have to move around. So the key is, is using the exact amount. And I have found to be a baseball size clump to be the best amount when using a 32 ounce fruit fly culture. From there, we like to use our species of choice, which will be whatever you are keeping. Like I said, we offer the Drosophila hydei and the Drosophila melanogaster. The cycle, is the, the cycle is exactly the same with the preparation for both species. However, the production cycle is relatively different. I'll get into that shortly. So what we like to do is we take a producing Genesis Exotics wingless melanogaster fruit fly culture. I like to look at the culture to make sure there's a moderate amount of flies in there. If the culture you, want, you are wanting to use to seed is not producing, you do not want to use it to seed your cultures because you want to make sure you have as fresh of amount of DNA as possible going into the culture so the next generation is big, strong, and healthy. Healthier flies, healthier frogs. So when loading the fruit flies into the fruit fly container, I like to tap the bottom right like this. This sends all the flies to the bottom, so that way when you open it up, you don't have hundreds of flies crawling all over the place. I take the lid, and I simply bend it back. Tap the bottom, so you can visibly see about 50 to 100 flies into the culture. Then you put on the lid, nice and, nice and secure. For the hidey eye, it is recommended to only use about 50 flies, as the hidey eye produce extremely heavy, and you don't want them to overproduce, as it will likely cause a culture crash due to the healthy consistencies of our media. From there, I always like to date my fruit fly cultures. This gives me a ray of time so I can plan as to when they're going to boom. On the universal fly media, the, the cycle for the melanogaster fruit flies are very simple. 
You have a freshly started culture, which will r retain this appearance with just live flies crawling in it for approximately four to five days, depending on your conditions and your environment that they're keeping them in. As they progress, around day six, you will notice that the media is sifted at the bottom. The media at the top is darker, while the media at the bottom is lighter. This is showing me that the fruit flies have in fact bred, and there are now maggots sifting through the media, eating the media, getting ready to turn into flies. Typically, on day eight, you will have a culture that is full of pupa and full of producing healthy, flightless, wingless melanogaster fruit flies that are ready to feed your frogs. Our media is one of the fastest producing on the market, and the normal standard in the hobby is 13 days for producing the Lanagaster culture. Now for the high eye culture, the injury standard is typically around 20 days for a producing culture. The high eyes just start off exactly like this for about 9 days. On day 9 to 10, you will notice the color change at the bottom of the culture. On day 12, you will notice larva and pupa appear very heavily along the sides of the cup with live flies migrating through the culture. On day 14, you will have a booming high DI culture. The best type of environment to keep your cultures in is room temperature. They like to be kept with a moderate humidity, around 50 to 60 percent. We also found to keep them not extremely dark, but in a darker room, they seem to produce significantly better, whereas being exposed to direct light. The fruit fly cultures should not be kept past 30 days, regardless of the species. That is covering the Drosophilia hydea and the Drosophilia melanogaster. Inevitably, there are grain mites in every single fruit fly culture that you purchase whether they are from Genesis Exotics, or whether they are from a mom and pop pet shop, they all have grain mites in them. There is absolutely nothing that you can do to prevent them from producing in the culture. But what you can do is keep your cultures only 30 days and throw them out after 30 days, even if there are still flies alive in the culture. You never want to use a a fruit fly culture that has boomed more than twice to start a new culture. Typically the second boom has a smaller generation of flies, thus a weaker genetic strain. A weaker genetic strain will yield weaker offspring, a weaker production, a not so healthy fruit fly culture. Genesis Exotics is very happy to offer the largest selection of fruit flies on the internet. We have a total of seven different fruit flies, including five different types of Drosophilia melanogaster, which are the, the wingless, the golden wingless. We offer the curly wings, the golden curly wings, and my personal favorite, the Turkish gliders. For the Heidi eyes, we offer the normal flightless Drosophilia Heidi eye, and we offer the golden flightless Drosophilia Heidi eyes. You can find them all and more at genesisexotics.com.